Hello, Stock. Hello, Rosh. We're going to have a meeting to discuss our plans. We'd like you both to join. It might be a little disheartening, though. All right, let's go. I'm surprised you had the nerve to show your faces here. How do you plan to take responsibility for this? It won't do any good to flare up at us. Then you presume we are the ones at fault for being taken in by your coaxing. Elm, no fighting! No, Lady Ot, this much must be said. It was a mistake, after all, to put our faith in humans. Patriarch Baronka, please allow me to voice my opinion. I say we exile these humans and close off the village like it was before. You're dumb, Elm. How would that help us? Whoa, whoa. Can everyone just calm down for a moment? He's right. We're supposed to be figuring out how to deal with Alistel. Forcing us out of here isn't going to help with that. That is enough. Oh, goodness. I must express my utmost apologies for what happened. I asked you to rely on Cygnus, but out of the blue, Cygnus has... Not at all. Hmm. I never imagined Cygnus could be so utterly defeated. I'm actually quite worried about them, and I look into their situation at my first chance. Still, it's too early to give up. In fact, there is something I've been meaning to ask Gafka to do for quite some time now. Gafka? You mean that beast kind guy? Do you know of a village called Forja, east of Cygnus? It's the home of the Gutrals. I'm thinking an alliance with them would be to our benefit. That's why I've pressured Gafka, a Gutral himself, to convince them of the same. And where is he now? He's at the spring in the back, but... Hmm. in danger. How can they keep holding a grudge at a time like this? Hmm. What are we supposed to do then? to do our best to ally with Forgia. I believe that would be best as well. But if Gafka won't act as the intermediary, our chances are very slim. I'll try talking to him. Please do. Red one. Gafka. Why do you hesitate to represent us in Forgia? So, you were informed. Yeah. There are various reasons. One of them being that I have been exiled from Forja. Exiled? I didn't know. And the other... is the rift between us and the humans. A rift? My banishment is a personal problem, so that is not as much of a concern. But the rift between our races, that is a formidable issue. The Gutrils severed ties with the humans many years ago. Do you know why? In the past, humans would use clever words to lure Gutrils into fighting for them. Those who were deceived all died on the battlefield. These were not isolated incidents either. It happened countless times. And so, the Gutrils came to detest humanity and cut themselves off. So that's why. Some do not believe that all humans are to blame. That is why you meet the odd Gutrul every now and again, like myself. But we are only a handful. Most Gutrils have no faith in humans anymore. What can we do to make them hear what we have to say? According to the clan's laws, it is forbidden to interact with humans without a beast mark. What is this beast mark? It is a ceremonial ritual tool used by the Gutrils. It is obtained by undergoing an ordeal within our ruins. The ruins are considered holy ground by our They would never allow humans to step foot in them. 
then it's a lose-lose situation. We can't talk without it, but we can't obtain it either. Is there no other way? If the ordeal were issued by a high-ranking member of the clan, it would be possible. But that would be far too convenient, wouldn't it? I'm sorry to take up your time. I didn't expect to talk so much. It looks like you've found the key to convincing him. Yeah, but the question is, how do I obtain this beast mark? If it can't be obtained in this world, then there's only one other way. Although, from what I can tell, you're nowhere near where the beast mark is. True. I haven't even made it to Forja yet. That means solving this issue is going to take some time. Don't worry. As long as you walk the path of the true history, I'm sure the opportunity will present itself. Please bear that in mind, and continue to press forward as you have been. Well then, until we meet again. Appreciate your concern. Who's there? It's me. Rosh. Sorry to drop in like this. I know I'm getting in the way of your mission. But there's something I had to tell you. What is it? It's about Alistel. What happened? Hugo's Thaw Machine Corps invaded Celestia and killed countless beastkind. He was after Celestia's abundance of mana, a power source for his Thaw Machines, in other words. Fennel is overseeing the creation of more powerful armaments even now. You've been on a mission, so you might not realize it, but the nation's in shambles. So, they'll invade anywhere if it means getting their hands on more mana. If things go on like this, there'll be no end to the war. Yeah. Alistair's done for. That's why we defected. You what? When I say we, I mean Lieutenant General Raoul, Sonia, and the guys in my brigade. We all left Alistair together. So, that's what's been going on. We couldn't just sit on our hands and watch Alistair rot like that. So we decided to join forces with Celestia, per Lieutenant General Raoul's suggestion. We'll probably have to deal with Hugo soon. I'll need your help on this one, Stock. Do you mean that you want us to join forces with your group? Well, that's the way I would have wanted it. But Lieutenant General Raoul came up with a better plan. He's gonna leave the Granorc side to you. Which involves? You're going with the Princess to help her assume the throne. <sighs> Wait. Before we go on, how do you know the Princess is with me? Before we ditched Alistair, I beat some info out of one of the SI guys. Well, that's certainly in character for you. Isn't it? I also got other things, like the state of affairs in Granorg out of him. All these countries are corrupt to the core. That's why we're going to take back Alistair, while you and that princess take back Granorg. I see. So, the time has come for that. Whoa, slow down. For this operation to work, we'll need a lot of people on our side. We've enlisted Celestia, so your job will be to join forces with Cygnus. Cygnus, huh? We're actually headed that way already. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? Oh, and let the princess handle the diplomacy. It's not really your strong suit if you catch me. Okay then, I'm headed back to Celestia. I'll leave Cygnus to you. All right. You know, I didn't think you'd be so understanding about this. I thought you might consider me an enemy after I told you I'd defected. Worst case scenario, I was bracing myself for a fight. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way I'd fight you. Good point. Guess Lieutenant General Raoul made a wise choice sending me to persuade you. All right, I really have to go now. I'll hurry over to Granorg as soon as our end's taken care of.
I'm glad I didn't have to fight him this time. But I wasn't expecting this. In the other history, Rosh took a stand against Alistair. Apparently his change of heart carried over to this timeline as well. Stuck? Was somebody here? I thought I heard voices. No, just me. Is that why you came? It's my turn to tend the fire, actually. I'll take over. Right. Thanks, Marco. You've got it under control? Yeah, I'm sure you're tired, Stock. Get some sleep, okay? All right. Should be easy enough to keep a fire going. It's fine for now, and I've got a great view of the sky from here, too. Oh, the stars are beautiful tonight. What the... What's all this fog? This isn't fog. It's... gas. Can't keep eyes... Open. Not good. Stock. <laughs> You've returned, Stock. Your escape from Granorg must have been exhausting. I cannot find fault with you for what is happening now. But now that you are in such a predicament, perhaps you will reach a greater understanding. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? guided us to Corne Village. <laughs> yeah. So, where are we? <sighs> the desert? Then we're in the Cygnus region. But how did you get here? Jeez. Tell me as much as you can remember. Not long after we escaped. Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> I see. Hey! They're not here? until we set up camp at the Judgment Cliffs. I asked Marco to take my place at the fire so I could get some sleep. And that's the last thing I remember before waking up here. Sounds like you and I had a similar experience. Hopefully everyone else is just in separate cells. <laughs> Who are you?
so I'm your underdog. <laughs> And if I win? Try to stay calm, Ricky. We'll have to wait and see for now. What? Until we find out where Erica and the others are, we can't do anything reckless. But don't worry. I'll find our way out as soon as I see the chance. Mm-hmm. Finally over. Impossible. <laughs> by the by. Come now. Perhaps. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Ahem. Edge, you went over my head again? You would champion an outsider to represent Cygnus in the tournament? But. How many years has it been since you came to this land? Yet you still don't understand the desert culture. First and foremost, we provide entertainment for our guests, even if they are our enemies. It may be for entertainment only, but we still give it 100%. That is the way of the desert. Uh, as you wish. Your knowledge is valuable, but if you continue to tear us down, no more second chances! Understood. Hmm. You. What's your name? When you ask someone's name, isn't it common courtesy to state your own? Shut it, Edge! I'm Garland, and I run things here in Cygnus. <laughs> I'm glad someone has the guts to stand up to me every now and again. Shackles can't bind the soul, something like that. I like the fire in your eyes. So, I've told you my name. Your turn. Stuck. <sighs> Ernst. My name's Ernst. Ernst, hmm? Great name. I never met him, but the Prince of Granor that died a few years back had the same name. He seemed like a well-liked prince, but having died before his prime, it means little. Do you plan on making it to your prime? <laughs> that was a joke. You're supposed to laugh. Then maybe you should tell better jokes. <laughs> You're never at a loss for words, are you? You must be quite confident in yourself. Now, you've really piqued my interest. Hedge. Huh? Unbind them. Huh? Do I look like I'm joking? Uh, as you wish. Hmm. What's your problem? Why the scowl? Or do you prefer being chained up? What are you thinking? I told you already. You're an interesting man. I want to test your confidence for myself. Hedge! Ready some foils. Uh, as you wish. <laughs> <laughs>